need a tonic. <laughs> we were in G, right? Was yeah, it G? I think that's where we were. I think it was G. It's always, hey, everyone. G is always a good choice. Hi. That's uh, G <laughs> and K, Chris and Guillaume. Yeah. Welcome to this live stream. We are, as usual, um, excited. Yeah, yeah, to see always you guys, excited. First of all, twenty four seven. It's exhausting. I'm so tired. I <laughs> uh, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, Amanda is here. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Uh, Matt is here. We've got Adils Adilson Adilson X Extremes from XXX entering the hype train. Yes, but no. Yes, but no. Carve is saying that one was great by Guillaume. Thank you so much, uh, Tony. The tiger. I do agree. Uh, appreciate that very much. It came out of nowhere. I've been sick for three days straight, laying in bed, oscillating, if you will, between the bed and the bathroom. I'll spare you the details, but and it was I keep a, distance. I it was keep a distance. Horrible here. weekend. I feel much better. Thank you. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing much better. But it's very good to very good to see you guys, Mr. Spinny. Hi, guys from France. How are you? They're voting today, right? They're voting on the. On the reform thing thingy, I didn't follow. Uh, we were filming. Let me know in the chat how the situation is in France right now. I'm I'm curious. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun ride. See ya, um, The bad monkey is all over the internet lately. Yes, yes, and naturally, naturally, we kind of wanted to add our piece, two pieces really, because Chris is a very rich man. And Chris, Apparently, <laughs> Chris was made very rich over the weekend because uh. he's got. Uh, it's got several bad monkeys. Uh, we've got one on this board, one on this board. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a funny thing because it, this is kind of a renaissance for this pedal. Because <laughs> I'm not sure if you were around the YouTubes like 10 years ago or something like that. Uh, when um, Phil X was super active with uh, Freddie and Americana. He made all those videos on vintage guitars. Yeah. And he used his amp and his pedals every now and then to get some more gain. And he was a huge fan of the Bad Monkey. Not sure if he still uses it, but he you, like always had a Bad Monkey in his gig bag yeah. and used that for whatever reason, uh, like you know, for more gain to shape the voice or the gain structure, whatever, or just sort of a clean boost. It doesn't really do that, but it, it gets close to a clean boost as well. Uh, it's just a very nice and soft sweet sounding green pedal that's kind of based on a tube screamer yeah but it's really not like a one-to-one -one copy first off it's green so first yeah, yeah i man. mean it's green so yeah it yeah, gives it away that's that's a, a point for the ts side but it has a bass and treble control which uh, which is called low and high just to be more you know spicy we're spice, different spice things up. <laughs> my mama said i was different <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so it's already much more versatile than a traditional pedal would be. But people didn't really, like, I didn't see this very often. I bought it because of Phil X and I loved it. I used it with all kinds of amps, my Mesa, my whatever amp I was using at the time. And I had two boards. I only had one bad monkey and I was like, <laughs> I need one more. So, uh, so I got a second one. As you do. And because they are and they're supposed to be really affordable. These were like whatever, 60 euros, 50 euros yeah, when they were yeah, sure. still in production. And I bought one here, Toman. The other one I think I bought used, uh, I think the second one, uh, because it was already not produced at that time. So I, I was forced to find one somewhere. Uh, but these are really inexpensive. There are tons of these out there, like thousands of these around. Yeah. Uh, just because Josh from JHS made that video where he showed how cool it really is and uh, compared it to his clone, his TS10, yeah. other pedals as well. And it, it just kind of, it kind of nailed it, got really, really close. Uh, but we'll talk about that part because yeah, yeah, we, yeah. All, we both have a, a different... Uh, many, many things to say. Yeah, yeah. Amanda is saying that now you're rich, what she's hearing is party at Chris's house. I agree. <laughs> cool house. <laughs> and uh, I'm building a pool right now, so you know. And uh, the master car, car well, you've, well, now you have a functional bathroom, which is <laughs> yeah, already well, really after good. After a year, I'm kind of, <laughs> I feel luxurious already. Uh, and uh, the, was renovating the, my bath. It took he, forever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I followed the whole process. I was more involved into that than any pedal release ever. <laughs> like, uh, look, look, look. Uh, he's saying, uh, the, the master ca carré, 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 
Uh, Bad Monkey is the new cryptocurrency. Chris is crypto rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, well, no. Yeah. I'm guessing it's something like that. Gabi was saying, c'est la loose en France. Un petit bonjour de Nancy. Bonjour à Nancy. C'est pas loin de chez moi en plus. Et oui, j'ai vu que c'était un peu la loose. <laughs> uh, J'espère que, que ça ira mieux. Sorry. Uh, French. All of that. French. All of that. Uh, I agree. Parenthesis over. Um, and uh, yeah, so. As Chris explained, the uh, very nice prequel, by the way, didn't even dare to interrupt. Um, <laughs> you should have. Probably. Yeah, this this uh, this live stream is more of a hey, chill, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of a kind of a live stream yeah. because obviously a lot of people after that, and let's be honest, rightly so, jumped on the hype train because you know, we are here for clicks, <laughs> whatever makes you click. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. We're not necessarily, we, we're doing the live stream regardless. And, you know, this is kind of a fun thing because it's not the first time that this happens with Josh. And not necessarily, I would say, misconstructed, but definitely information that's taken out of con context by a lot of guitar players and then inflated way out of proportion. Because yeah. let's keep in mind that the, the, the original idea and so was his original take on... Uh, the clone video, the TS video, the uh, all the what's the deal with videos that yeah. he posted yeah. with uh, Behringer pedals, with uh, like a, a whole lot of affordable uh, pedal brands and pedal manufacturers saying, yeah, this sounds good. Yeah, I guess full it, stop. All right, cool. Thanks. Yeah, don't worry too much about um, all these. That can also sound awesome. Josh, and how many how many videos did he make on like you know? Can you tell the difference? Like, can you hear yeah, the difference? Yeah, dozens. Clone dozens. versus something really affordable, and it's like you know, whether really it was close. during his live streams or yeah. like full length videos, he's done tons of them, and that's yeah. like something that Josh does does for two reasons. First, he's very passionate, and he knows a lot about the history of both pedals and their manufacturers slash designers, which allow him to bring you information that we don't necessarily have about the pedals. Like, who came up with the Bad Monkey circuit? I have no idea. Do you know? Josh like, knows. Do you know the difference he between the light yeah. green enclosure and the dark green enclosure? I, I didn't. I didn't know. He didn't even notice his enclosures were two different colors up until that video came out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so you, you should, like, no one should uh, hate on Josh and, and his uh, videos and the channel that he's doing because he has so much knowledge, so, so much to share, and you can learn so much, uh, like, actual infos, like history of pedals and little details and geeky stuff, and also not to worry too much about those stuff. And collecting stuff that are, you know, rare and really expensive is, don't get me wrong, a lot of fun. And if I had the money, I would probably hunt down a clone that's somewhat affordable priced, compared to all the other ones at least, mm -hmm. just for the sake of it, because I like the stuff, but, Hunting that down just for the tone because that's the holy grail. Nothing makes you sound good. Like no, no. Let's yeah. let's stop that craziness. And that's basically why I thought like, hey, this could be a fun thing to to show the bad monkey. Yeah, it can get really close. Uh, we don't have an original clone, but we have two pedals that are like super damn close. We're just going to put all our JHS pedals on the line. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we also have that. The bonsai is also here to show the TS voicing of the bad monkey. Uh, uh, let's start playing because someone someone asked for that. Right, Melanie's uh, is point. asking, are we talking about the weather again? We can. Uh, you'll, <laughs> you'll prepare, uh, please prepare your weather reports uh, depending on where you live. What, kind of, what yeah. kind of sunlight are you getting at the moment? Let us know the place and uh, the current weather. And, While uh, we are playing yeah, the we'll, uh, Bad Monkey you, against. You play a little bit. And someone requested you to play the Godfather theme on that Les Paul. So now you kind of have to. Oh, uh, the Slash the, uh, version? I, I remember that was the first thing I tried to learn and nail on my first gig ever in high school I was. And it was terrible. I messed it up. So I will mess it up again. I, I do not remember any of it. Well, I'll do it right at the end. Um, yeah, something like let's, that. Uh, Let's start with the Bad Monkey and the Warm Audio Centavo, which is not like a one-to-one... -one, um, uh, clone clone? Centaur, Replica. that's the word. I read Centavo and couldn't think of Centaur. Centauro. It's not like a one-to-one -one complete clone, but this is the one that got us both closest to yeah. the, the experience of that, what everyone uh, describes. 
who uses a clon? Like, why is the clon still, you know, so beloved for its tone? Mm. Like, there are so many pedals that do the clon thing. Why is that still? Yeah, because it's sweeter. It's not annoying. It's not harsh. It does this. It has the right amount of whatever, mid-range, blah, blah, blah. The enclosure's impractical. <laughs> yeah, that too. All those good things that we're <laughs> so, looking for into a good clone. <laughs> you have the ridiculously big enclosure here involved. So um, it's got to, it, got, it has to sound good, right? Uh, let's do that. Yeah. I set both up to sound as close as they got. So uh, let's see. Please, please go ahead. Uh, by the way, blow our tiny mind. When the duel is lit, that is the bad monkey, and the hoof is the centavo. Oh, Just to confuse everyone. Not confusing including. at all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's my capo salad. Okay, boy. so that is the bad monkey. Okay, cool. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Go for a no, that was useless enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, yeah, close. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Feels so different to play though. Ha, that's the first thing that that is definitely worth talking about. Yeah. One second. Uh, someone's saying that it might be clipping a little bit. Temu, I fully trust your skills, but if you want to double check on the levels, that'd be cool. Um, that may that way we make sure that we're not clipping more than the pedals are clipping. Uh, yeah, that would be very useful if you shared if it was like clipping because we can do the playing part again um, in case that was the case. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. So we got the weather reports. That's absolutely awesome. <laughs> yes, definitely come back to that. Um, yeah. Okay. The point of the point of that comparison and how brilliantly demonstrated by Chris. Um, was to say that they don't sound the same at all unless you put them in a place where they sound kind of the same. Uh, with the output way down, the gain kind of up on the Centavo and vastly different settings on the Bad Monkey, uh, which take them to a similar crunchy place. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the treble was different, the low end was different, oh, yeah. the type of clipping was different. You could hear hard clipping, you could hear totally. soft clipping. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you can make any pedal sound like any other pedal in a very specific place, but that's not necessarily how you would use yeah. that pedal. That's the thing. Like, uh, if, you, if you listen to uh, that playing where Josh AB'd uh, these two, like the, the actual clown center, and the Bad Monkey, he had the centaur pretty much cranked, where all that mid-focus, mid-humpy drive tone comes through, and then matched that tone with the Bad Monkey pretty damn well. Maybe even, like, it sounded even more similar to me than our playing here. But that's just one setting on the clown that can be kind of matched. As soon as you reduce the gain a little bit even, you have some more of the clean, um, yeah. clean boost yeah. side of that gain knob on the on the clon, which is unique to that circuit, the Bad Monkey does not have that. So if you want that mid push and slight crunch of a, a clon star pedal, you cannot even get remotely close to that with anything uh, that's not having that dual pot thing on the gain yeah. uh, knob. So 
you know, you can find settings on everything that will sound ridiculously close. If you want to show how similar everything is in the world, it's not too hard to do. So uh, Josh's point wasn't to prove that, that these two pedals will sound absolutely identical. It was to show that even something like the Bad Monkey, was, which was never a beloved pedal and was never a, a boutique, you know, precious something, mm. even that can get ridiculously close to pedals that get hyped a bit too much. Yeah. yeah. It's just the fact that simple stuff, cheap stuff, can also work. Just find the way how to use them. Find the best way of, of uh, you know, getting the, the tones out of them. For sure. Because, um, like, right now, we have a lot of really cool uh, comments. Thank you guys for, for being so much in the chat. We love you very much. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, Matt says, saying, I remember Phil X calling the monkey basically a tube screamer with a bass knob. That's, you know, fair enough. Um, uh, we had a... Oh, Stanislav, pointing out something that I wanted to point out uh, somewhere in the beginning of that video. Uh, it, hey, hey, guys. F first off, hi. Hey. Uh, hi, Stan. Um, the, the whole concept of this reminds me of Chris's video about do all pedals sound the same with his beautiful impersonation of Dwight Truth in the beginning of that video. Uh, it's, it's on Chris's <laughs> channel. Go check it out. It's two weeks, three weeks old. Yeah. It's shown like nice. that. Yeah. And I think for the replay, uh, we might even put the link in the description because that video illustrates perfectly what we're talking about today. Can all pedals sound somewhat the same? Yes, but they're not necessarily made for that. And if you want to get the best out of a pedal, it can sound radically different from another one. Ergo, and to rebound on the example, like the, the, the playing that we had before, this is not at all how I would set either one of these pedals. Yeah. Like, I would set the Bat Monkey as a TS kind of a thing. And I, I'm not in the school of using the clone circuit with a lot of gain. I want the clipping to be engaged, but I'd have my settings on a clone, like... Uh, Go for it. I, I play a little and you so set like, it up for yeah, however yeah, you would like sure. it. This is the current. This yeah. is the current setup. Yeah, this is a current setup to use the clone on its own because I wouldn't do that. I'd have another pedal and I'd use the clone into ah. it, so my settings would be radically ah, different. Gotcha. Okay, like so I'm not, not using amp. that as a yeah. main, not in a clean amp with a okay. lot of headroom. Okay. In a boosted okay. amp, sure. Okay, but okay. otherwise, no. And I would use it like into like into the bonsai. That's now just the bonsai, and then you engage. And then the I'll engage double. the clone with my settings. Okay. 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 So everyone followed. Sorry, that was very unclear. The bonsai <laughs> on the switcher is called bonsai, which is already a good start. Nice. The hoof is the centavo. And we are going into the clean Soldano SLO30 because Snake right, <laughs> what an amp. <laughs> shouldn't have done that. No, uh, <laughs> you're not used to the switcher. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, again, like I would do that in an amp with fewer mids and not necessarily with the less ball. So, you know, TS10 with the less ball into the Soldano might be overkill, but this is how I would set up my clone. And I mean, I, I dug the tone. And Lots if we- range, but really sweet. Thank so. you. No, Thank you. Love it. You're really sweet. No, nice. yeah. my finger told me to say that I like the town or they like Yeah, uh, but, and now if we take the Santavo 
in that in those settings mm-hmm. and try and do that with a bat monkey you you you're not yeah, gonna it's gonna have be a, a very different good experience. time yeah, Diff- yeah, yeah different yeah. Uh, stacking and everything yeah, yeah. Uh, right let's uh, let's try to do the bad monkey uh, t- you know try to make it sound as tse TS, TS, there's no three letters, those uh, are two letters. Pick a TS, which <laughs> TS do you want? Uh, whatever, let's let's start with uh, the 808 and then 808. Maybe, maybe TS10 just for let's giggles. Do 808. Let's start with everything at noon except for volume that felt just about Yeah, the vo- volume needs to be cranked yeah. much more. The uh, Bad Monkey has more volume uh, than, than a, a TS pedal. So, yeah, yeah, but that yeah, that felt like unity for the amp. Yeah, well. easily. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. All right, so... You play it though. Oh, I, oh yes, please. Jesus. I'll try to I try to match that with the bad monkey, which should be much easier because it's that kind of clipping going on. Anyhow, Soft, so. symmetrical, yes, yes, yes. medium amounts of headroom and spongy, a spongy with sound. With a bump, yeah, with the with, with the, the mid bump. bump. Alrighty. Much closer. M- way under 5% difference. Yeah. Like there's something, a kind of feel here, something, but it's like so damn close. And that's what the Bad Monkey is. Uh, both low and high, these two knobs, the bass and the treble, yeah. are pretty much at 12 o'clock. This is its standard sound. You can, of course, increase the lows and the highs. And if you crank the gain, which it has more than a TS pedal, yeah. you can make it sound more amp like or more like wide and big less mid humpy and definitely less um uh sort of uh, bass and treble cutty that's uh, that's a, a that's, weird that's way english. to say that's it, english but, but that that is the thing that uh, a tube screamer would do you can't avoid doing that with the bed monkey that's why i bought it because you can literally tweak it um and it still kind of emulates a ts yeah know? Uh, some people were making the point, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to find your comments again, uh, about, oh yeah, tra- Transparent is your account, that's that's a cool handle. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, 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 it's it's the, it's his name, her oh. name, uh, it's their name. <laughs> I thought we were uh, talking about the tone. No, no, uh, <laughs> talking about uh, a video that was made previously about um, using an EQ pedal, mm-hmm. like a Boss uh, mm-hmm. G7 or kind of a thing, to do the same thing and turn that pedal into any overdrive because you can replicate sort of the EQ shape of a specific overdrive and yeah. bump volume and, yeah, you know, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. a thing. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it, it falls into the same idea of like anything will sound like anything if you dial it in like any other thing. <laughs> Science. If you try hard enough, then you can get there. The thing is though, that they will just still feel very different. Sound is of yeah, course yeah. awesome and of course if you, put a guitar player in a band mix, you know, most I, of the little du- nuances will not matter at all for the audience, but the player can still tell how it feels to play. 
And that is something that everyone, I don't know, especially online, loves to ignore. And it's just such a non-guitar player -y thing to do. Like, how can you ignore the way something feels? We all know how much of a struggle it is to play something that just doesn't react the way you want it, doesn't palm you the way you want it, doesn't have the right whatever. Um, it, yeah, yeah. Th that's the worst experience ever. I could never stick to a gear that sounds great for others and I hate playing it. It's like, how would, why would I do that? You know, I can make it sound whatever, for sure. but I don't care about that sound. <laughs> I want it to feel nice. And the Bad Monkey feels always like a Tube Screamer yeah. because of its, its uh, clipping type or whatever, the design uh, that's, that's built in. Might sound like a clone, but does not feel like playing a clone. Also, the uh, the attack of a clone style no, it's, circuit it's is vastly just different, battle. so much crazier than than yeah. the Bad Monkey, which is just um, a softer, sweeter sounding thing. And don't base pay six hundred for it. It's just a pedal, and there are tons of them out there. So, you know, uh, I think Josh wrote this statement uh, asking six hundred bucks. For the bed monkey is one thing, but paying 600 for the pedal, that's a different thing. Like, let people ask whatever they want to ask, just don't buy it. And yeah, buy it when it goes ask. back to a realistic, you know, one to 200 and something box, maybe, you know, could be much more realistic, <laughs> even though that's still like, you know. Mark's you know. gas station is saying that I just made the Boss G7 go up in value. I hope I had the same type of influence over the pedal market as Josh did, because. Let's be honest, I would use it for evil. <laughs> like, I know me. Uh, but um, yeah, a lot, of, uh, a lot of you guys seem to agree with what's happening on there. It's very nice. Uh, uh, yeah, as Chris just said, like, don't, just don't buy into the, the hype. It's not something that will last. It's a 50 euro, $50 pedal that I'll go back to. Maybe not quite 50 because it is out of production. Yeah, it's, it's going to be older and older. Yeah. You know, as, as it grows older, it might like <coughs> stabilize somewhere in between 80 and 100 bucks or something. Then again, buy any Tube Screamer with extensive EQ and honestly, you're in the ballpark. Yeah, As we yeah. mentioned before, yeah, everything yeah. sounds the same if you wanted to. And be before <laughs> you, you buy a Bad Monkey, just for the, that clone sound, sound that um, yeah. Josh managed to get, just get, for example, the Warmeter Centavo or the Unobtainium uh, by uh, Crazy Tube Circuits or any other, like the J-Rocket Archer, whatever. One of the 17 Archers. Those are all going to be yeah. much more affordable, new, with warranty, than a Bad Monkey right now. So, what? You know, and most of these were going to be hand-wired, you know, like really sweet pedals, and the, the Bad Monkey is an SMD thing. It's a mass-produced whatever made in like half of them were made in china yeah. the other ones maybe in the us not sure the older ones i'm not sure where digitech these are just mass so. produced pedals they yeah. should they shouldn't cost that no but people are saying i wouldn't pay more than 50 to 100 bucks for such a pedal and you shouldn't and you won't just don't like it's not worth it in, yeah. in two weeks they'll be back to their normal prices and everyone will go on with their life and and it's gonna be okay you know, unless it's, it's gonna be like the ts10 he That's even it. has the box he does have the box i do have the box you want to see the box <laughs> <laughs> he has um, the box hey chris while you're standing up yeah uh, will i ask you kindly to uh, plug in the the mini plexi into the soldano cab because people want to hear the bad monkey into the plexi oh okay yeah sure. and can uh, you showcase the box show Showcase the box. I am showcasing the box. Here it is. It's a pretty box. It's a very boxy box. It's, oh, oh, different cam. Oh, oh, I'm just messing with you. I'll leave it on that one. <laughs> Look at the box. It's beautiful. Yeah, uh, someone saying that Digitech was, uh, Josh mentioned that Digitech would bring back the bad monkey. Even like, even oh, more so on. if they bring it back, then prices will go way down. Like, way, way down. So, yeah, don't worry about that. Give it a couple of weeks. If you really want that pedal, uh, you can get it for sure. And don't get us wrong. Um, it's a really good pedal. It but is. it's a mass-produced, simple pedal. So, yeah, yeah. you know, priorities. <laughs> he has the box. Uh, cue jingle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the meantime, while Chris is doing the plug-in uh, thing with the cables and the stuff, uh, 
Came out cool. P was, uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm, I keep forgetting to call you Mike. <laughs> Mike, uh, only has 18 degrees Celsius today in Florida. Whoa! Let's all shed a tear for Mike, <laughs> uh, who I think was lighting up a cigar as that live stream started. I, I think I remember seeing something like that. Uh, Amanda, I'm guessing she's called. It's, you know, it's Ontario. What else? Um, Has to be called. Missouri! In Missouri, you got hey, 45 degrees. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of cold. Cold but sunny. If it's cold, sunny, and dry, I, I I'm all for that. It's what is what is 45 in, in Celsius though? Uh, just just below zero, I think. Oh, is it that cold? Yeah. You have a weird zero there. Oh, just around just around zero, okay. I think. Like freezing yeah. point. Yeah, 40 uh, 40 is cold. I that think. is noisy. Why are we that noisy? I don't know how loud. <laughs> how loud? I mean, are it, you? it shouldn't be that loud. No, there's just a reverb on. Reverb. 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 Reverberation. Um, cool. We had someone from Iceland, didn't we? What? I read, no, what? I read someone was watching from Iceland. Uh, um, I'll find you again. Was that with the um, S style guitar? Through the, the Plexi or the Les Paul? Can oh, I'm guessing that had to be with the Les Paul. Yeah, is, yeah. is, it, is it that I, thing? I, I don't think that guitar's allowed to play the Plexi. <laughs> but will our ears survive a Well, Plexi? that's on you, buddy. You were on the, uh, you were on the setup. I was doing the weather. 11... Oh, Jesus! That was bright! I hope that do was muted. Do we have muted. to do this? I hope that was muted. All right. Yeah, okay, yeah, you people asked uh, for it. I put the box down. Wait. He doesn't have the box anymore. I will not sit where I normally sit because that's right in front of the Soldano and I do prefer hearing as opposed to not hearing anything ever again. So I will go behind G maybe. Greetings back, uh, <laughs> or, Chile. Or, or get closer to the that, that end of the, the stage and uh, I'll play a little. And can you turn on the bad monkey at one point? Uh, yeah. Yeah, with, with my foot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. I need a, a foot stand because I don't have a strap. <laughs> oh, my See God. the things we go through for you people? <laughs> You're good? Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, Temu. I'm deaf already, so. This needs some adjustments. Can you? Maybe. Can you half the gain? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's okay. See. Let's see. Uh, hey, headphone people. You've been warned. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So the first is going to be without it. And then you turn it on, right? Yeah. Okay. Sounded good. <laughs> yeah. I think. <laughs> it, it's it's bright. What? But <laughs> I mean it's a plexi. It it's bright, you know. Oh. <laughs> uh, good thing I, I went on the side. Uh, someone was asking for you to play Nuno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. I will not try that. David K from the UK. Hey. How are you, David? Sorry about that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Joseph was saying, cut loose, Chris. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> also, don't forget that Josh runs everything through a camper. True. <laughs> True. Um, yeah. No, it's, I mean, it sounds great. It's a TS It's an awesome pedal. It's just a great, through, simple uh, pedal. Same a, as like Joyo's and Harley Benton green pedals and yeah. all other affordable, really great pedals. Yeah. It's just really cool that it has a low and high control which makes it just, you know, 15% more um, flexible, which is exactly the reason why I bought it. And I still love it. Yeah. It's just, I, I don't use them. 
because I have other stuff there well, excite me more. Now but, you can uh, make a million dollars. I, I never wanted to sell them because I was like, I like them too much to sell them for like 30 bucks. He has the box. Uh, so I didn't. I just had them, you know, collecting dust in my drawer. Yeah. They're great, but there are other stuff that are just more exciting, I guess. I don't know. But uh, just hey. keep, keep them in case prices keep going up. Nah. Then you can pay I will keep mortgage. them because I like them, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Biohazard is here. Hi. Uh, late, but here. Um, it's okay. We waited. <laughs> Hope you're good. Um, um, Stanislav is saying that reality is I don't like any of the tones that Josh had in that video. It's a good point to make. It's a very subjective point. Oh, yeah. uh, let's, let's all agree on that first. The thing is, it really echoes back to what we were saying a, uh, a bit earlier in the video that... Um, mm. He dialed in the pedals to sound very similar to another and not necessarily dialed in the pedal to sound their best, uh, which is... It needs to be said, though, that Josh really likes to crank his clones. Like, yeah, he yeah, wants yeah, the gain yeah, all the he way likes, up. He likes the gain on the clone mm. and everything. And which is like, awesome, but yeah. many people would just go all back of that with the is, gain a bit. All so. of that is very subjective, uh, but... Uh, yeah, again, like, dialing in pedals to sound similar to one another is also not necessarily doing what's best for the pedal itself and everything plays into that you know some pedals are even picky about guitars some pedals will yeah. not like single coils yeah. or humbuckers yeah. some amps will not like pedals at all and that's very well known as well uh, that you know <laughs> you if you try and play all your pedals through a a roland uh, jazz uh, chorus jc combo, you know you, you're on, in yeah. for a treat it's yeah. uh, some of them might sound great uh, most of them, in my personal experience, are probably not the best build platform in the world. Yeah, no, uh, no. but the drives are not. You know, great, uh, and it's 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 all like it's a great sounding amp. Don't get me wrong, but if your objective as a guitar player is to stack 17 fuzzes into cascading delays into a clean amp, maybe don't go for that one. Uh, is yeah. my uh, my take on it. So. Um, Vicky saying, am I the only girl in here? No! <laughs> no, I, I know for a fact that Amanda is still around. So, at least two! Hey! Um, <laughs> Eisenkiller said the same thing, Amanda should be around. <laughs> so, Alright, so we got two girls in the audience. Uh, ladies, I hope this is uh, entertaining. Um, <laughs> Most exciting thing probably for non-guitar players. So I hope to to get you guys are gentil. guitar players. Merci, merci beaucoup. Uh, I, I got some, some love in French. Um, uh, the show is always fantastic and informative. I'm assuming you're talking about the JHS show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be that guy. I mean, that's awesome, but thank you so much. Thank you so, Amanda, much, so, so much. No, you're not. I'm always around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melanie is here too. True, I forgot Melanie. My God, my bad. I'm so sorry. I, it's because I haven't seen your name since the weather comment, which was gold, by the way, as, <laughs> as always. Thank you. Um, all right, well, you guys are having fun. Um, what's closer to a clone? Uh, J Rocket Archer or Icon? Ah, it was a very complicated question you asked there, Quicksilver. Uh, they, I think, I think the objective with them is to be close to two very specific clone centers. Yeah, and the the reason why they have two different colors is because one was inspired by a horsey gray enclosure clone, the other one was inspired by a horsey golden clone. That being said, and not to the same extent as dumbbells are going to be tailored for a very specific player and whatnot. <coughs> Clones are a lot more consistent throughout, but some collectors owning several of them have come to the conclusion that clones do vary a little bit. Yeah, most components will have some exactly. plus minus X amount of percent of. Um, so uh, the short story is apparently the icon has a little bit more gain. It's got a little bit more clipping on tap. As okay. far as I'm aware, okay. don't take my word for it. If you want I actual information, it. please email J Rocket. It's their pedal. They know <laughs> best. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, it's a very minor difference in between the gain and because of the clipping, to some extent, the EQ. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, very, very minor. In both cases, you're getting 
a very, very good clone experience. It's not best and worst. I think the different lies in the details, but like minor, minor details. Yeah. Uh, if you like one color over the other, go for that color. <clears throat> if you yeah. do a color matching pedal board, <laughs> get on that. Yeah, yeah. I kind of, I kind of found the silver normal archer being a bit tighter if you're using the the archer um, in front of an already or overdriven boost, yeah. amp, yeah. like or or another pedal. Like if you want that to give it some like pull everything together and give it some tight, super juicy mid range and good good rock tone or good chug or whatever you're after. For that, I found the silver archer just so good. It's so hard to put anything against that, like that does that better. Uh, the golden one is a little richer, thicker, so maybe a little less tight, but we're talking about, you know, those things. Both are really similar and very, very good. <laughs> Melanie is saying, I'm listening intensely, <laughs> intensely, I guess. <laughs> it's like, thank you so much for your undivided attention and your regular presence. We love you very, very much. I wanted to, I wanted to um, show what we were talking about, like uh, the way how we would use our clon style pedal and try to, you know, show how different the Bad Monkey then all of a sudden sounds because of its clipping type. Yeah. Um, I would, I would, this is how it set up the, for example, the Centavo uh, with a clean amp and a T style guitar because that's home for me. And some delay because someone was I asking live earlier without the where, where's the T? Yeah, and, uh, well, yeah, that's it. There's gotcha one. covered. Uh, I have the, uh, the J Rocket Clockwork on because delay, full stop. Yep. I cannot live without delay. So uh, that's going to be in there. And uh, let's start on the Centavo. And can you, can you try to bad monkey? I got to work thing? for it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want you to fall asleep while I'm playing. Uh, yeah, it's going to be my usual stuff that I always do and the way I always sound. I think. Oh, yeah. That's the Centavo first. Different, not sure how different they sound, but here, me playing, come on. This just feels, the Bad Monkey feels like a, a spongy, sweet, very much enjoyable drive sound, like almost like um, a crunch channel on an amp. And the, the I almost said clon, <clears throat> the warm <laughs> <laughs> uh, clon style object just has that ridiculous dynamic range that I expect from a, a clon. Uh, which is something the Bad Monkey does not have at all. Yep. And uh, cleans up if I don't hit hard and gets super loud and distorted if I do. It's like a much, much bigger dynamic range. Again, very different feel uh, compared to the Bad Monkey. So don't run out and buy a Bad Monkey for the clown sound. Yeah, nope. Um, is 
Moog pronounced Moog or Moj? <laughs> Moj? I don't. Is it the the synth brand? Yeah, I, I think it's so. It's Moog, I think. Moog. I think. Moog. Correct me, synth people. I think it's Moog. I don't know. I've always said Moog. Table. <laughs> we funny. have a synth dude on yeah. uh, the auto mixer. Is, Is it, it Moog? I'm from Finland. Uh, yeah, true. Fair enough. It's I'm from Finland. Don't ask me about pronunciation. It's like he's gonna read M O G like Kiriki or something. <laughs> Kiriko. <laughs> ah, um, I just bought a KTR. Nice. And uh, years ago. Okay. No, I, I added <laughs> even the just, nicer. <laughs> my bad. Uh, but I have no idea how close it, it is to the original Santa in person. Well, if it's good enough for the creator, you'd assume that it's good enough. Yeah. You know, I if think you like, like it, there's a good reason for it. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Story. The, the, the KTR has been proven many times to sound 100% like the original thing. And the box is different and that puts people off that for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's exactly like the, uh, the um, Centaur, but it's a damn good pedal and I love playing it. I had it on loan for a week. I, I made a video with it. I loved it. So that's enough, right? Um, I am pairing one of the uh, J Rockets with a golden morning glory and I prefer to have some differences in shades. So Silver Archer, it is nice. I love. I love that. Like making your pedal, <laughs> your pedal purchase decisions based on colors is exactly the kind of stuff that I do, <laughs> and I really respect that. He really does. It's, he's not. Kidding. Uh, I yeah. But I love that. Yeah, a good color match pedal board is like the opposite of this board, which Guillaume started calling. Wait, there's a sticker on it. I'm not sure if you can read it. No, not on. Chris's really. Cable Salad version 7.5. Yeah, it has a. Has a point there. His board, his board is messy always, and usually. But it either, always works. Either one of those three pedals work. <laughs> no, but they all work. You want to hear? There you go. Oh. <laughs> now I don't want to turn them off. Today. Oh. Today. All uh, right. Oh, guys, did I tell you I love you? We love you too, Jan. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is so sweet. Uh, Angelo P, first time getting to see you guys live. Love you. Keep up the good stuff. Thank you so much. I'm very glad Thanks you could joining. join. Uh, and uh, I read earlier that someone, uh, Stephanie was saying, <laughs> we're four girls. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> there are four girls on the live stream. People, we are. <laughs> this is. I'm. That makes me happy. I'm glad. I'm glad. The more, the more, the merrier. Um, <laughs> all right. We had some. I, I, I'll need to find it. Oh yeah, Hugo uh, was saying. Uh, in case there's a giveaway, my answer is 3.32 kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good mid middle. <laughs> that way. one made me giggle. Uh, and uh, another interesting point about the clone uh, by Rotal Music was saying get a, get, oh, a tum hey, get a tumnus done. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, yeah. I mean, any any clone clone with extensive EQ controls and like not necessarily like but but actual like additive EQ controls like not just cut knobs uh, will take that circuit anywhere from a clean transparent boost into a rat. Yeah, pretty much. That's yeah. about it. Pretty much. Yeah. Like. You're looking at the same type of clipping, different amounts of headroom, but essentially, if you've got the the the, the three option EQ, to yeah, yeah to boost everything on the low and higher end side of the spectrum and crank up the gain, and on something like a <coughs> tumnus with like the hot setting, for example, yeah, that's you can do basically anything yeah. you want. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that you say that because, in my opinion, the the tumbler, the tumnus deluxe, that's the one, uh, is the least traditional clone style pedal that I ever played. Yeah, that's true. If I set it up in a way without knowing its little things, you know, yeah. just like, hmm, maybe I boost a little the mids and maybe reduce the bass on the treble a little bit, and that's gonna work with a high gain amp, I found it not the best setting for that. Like yeah. I, I had to rethink my, my clone knowledge and everything with that pedal, which then worked ridiculously well. And, and G is using it on, on his studio board yeah, for I don't know how many months now. Uh, it's an awesome pedal. It's just the least obvious clone style pedal. It does that too, but because of its its uh, three band EQ, I guess the circuit is pretty far now from the original one, which only has the treble uh, knob. So um, 
Yeah, it, it is a mighty K style pedal, definitely. Yeah. It gets you, it, it lets you cover a lot of uh, ground. For sure. Um, HK was asking, I like boss pedals and modded boss. Do boss have a clone like pedal too? No. Uh, Andy made one. <laughs> 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 if you got yeah. the April Fool's video from two years ago, maybe? Something like that. Yeah. Andy, Andy the guitar geek. Uh, Andy. Our Andy. Miss you, Andy. Andy. <laughs> Love you. Uh, made, a, made a really fun uh, April Fool's video. I won't give you the... Uh, I won't... I won't spoil no, it. No more you. teasing. But uh, but Boss made one clone <laughs> one. style pedal. <laughs> uh, the the clone the clone style uh, thing is uh, if you want to get to the nitty gritty of it is is very specific if you want it to be like in your selection of which diodes and and you know you can you can get very picky and as guitar players we will obviously. <laughs> that being said, it's not a hard circuit to build if you've ever built a clone kit and we both have. Uh, it's not hard, like it's barely more complicated than a fuzz and that's saying a lot because <laughs> I've seen fuzzes with like 12 components. Yeah, uh, but nice. yeah the, the, clone, the clone thing, like you can get close to that with basically any sort of hard clipping uh, symmetrical pedal with a, you know, a fairly low amount of gain if you want to use the clone in a like traditional way. Uh, the, the, the cool thing about the clone is like, because the bass only reacts up to a certain point when you push up the gain and then it starts cutting a little bit. Yeah. And it's got that sort of clean blend that's not really a clean blend happening at the same time. There's just like intricacies. Circuit, yeah. For uh, intricacies yeah. of the circuits that made it very unique and that sort of participated into making it what it is. And it's a great circuit. It's amazing. And I'm not going to spit on the clone center or during this live stream or ever. Uh, that being said, you know, it's a it's, it's an overdrive pedal. Yeah, it's just an overdrive pedal. Yeah, but it's, it's yeah. a great one. That's why I guess, you know. And also, um, John Mayer started <laughs> using it. So, of course, you need to hype yeah, it, right, Gene? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but the, what you mentioned about that clean blend and the drive thing, the, the gain knob works like this. If you have it at zero, you have 100% clean signal coming through. So it's not like there's no signal coming through that would be a normal drive pedal circuit. Uh, like barely anything coming through because it's just so weak. No, in that case, you just have 100% clean signal and then you can boost that or cut that with the output. As soon as you raise up the gain knob, you have less and less of the clean signal and like a crossfade, more and more of the drive signal. So around 12 o'clock, you have not exactly 50%, but you have about the same amount of clipping, like the yeah. drive sa side of the pedal and the clean signal from your guitar. And then as you go with the gain more and more up, your clean signal just gradually disappears and all you have is the clipping side. And that alone makes this pedal so mighty because if you have a Strat that just needs a bit more mid push to cut through a band mix, just have the gain around whatever, nine o'clock and or 10 o'clock or something where you barely have any drive happening from, the, from a clump pedal, just have that mid push. Uh, and, and there you go. You have a, a beefier Strat sound. If you play slide, and you want that that beautiful vocal mid range? Yeah. Set the gain wherever, <laughs> and you have it. It's it's just that mid range that you really dig when you want that sustained sound for for slide yeah. playing. And you can you, you can, can do it so much with it. That's that's the. And you can use that why. quality like after a fuzz, for example, if you feel like your fuzz is like a little bit too wild or something, put your fuzz into a clone style circuit, and that'll work wonders. If you think that your overdrive needs a little bit of humph yeah, uh, and you want like up. a lead sound, like a tighter, like feels gainier, but is not really kind of thing, boost that with the clone and it's magic as well. Like that circuit is good for so many things. And that's why, and John Mayer, uh, that's <laughs> why, that's what made it so, so yeah. legendary. Yeah. Um, uh, Melanie was saying, Chris, I just want to remind you of the gold top and the Godfather theme. Uh, oh, I, I don't geez. remember who requested it, but thank you very much. Oh Molly. no. Okay. Uh, that, that will happen. So, uh, Johnny was saying, uh, clone me for humanity's sake. Do you trust me? <laughs> trust me. You don't want that. 
They're like, <laughs> the, the OG is already bad enough. Im imagine like a Walmart version of myself, <laughs> like a discount, a discount, discount me. G. <laughs> like me plus more bugs. That's. <laughs> <laughs> nah, would nah, the discount nah. G still be discount uh, discount John Mayer? Uh, discount John Mayer. <laughs> Mom, I want John Mayer. No, we've got John Mayer at home. <laughs> uh, someone's talking about the JHS Moonshine doing exactly that. Yes. Yeah, I think the, the Moonshine is uh, to some extent based on that topology, but the Moonshine is more of a tube screamer, if I'm remembering correctly. Sorry, oh, what? he's practicing. He's practicing. I think <laughs> the moonshine is more of, a, more of the tube screamer thing. So yeah, the blend knob is uh, used a lot in tube screamers, uh, but also any overdrive that was made for bass, uh, where you're gonna have a blend knob or like a frequency split knob, so you can overdrive the higher frequencies and get the get the drive, but keep the basses clean so that they stay tight in the mix, like. Blend knobs are super useful and the integration of the clean blend into the clone is really, really well done. Um, um, but yeah, um, what else do we have? Uh, Boss Odies is asymmetric clipping. That's why this the sounds so safe in those frequencies. Yeah, yeah, uh, Boss OD, mm -hmm. uh, at ODS. Huh, is the ODS like, is... Uh, no, it's not that, it's the ODS one, yeah. But like Boss ODs in yeah, general, probably. I'm guessing like the OD1, like the OD1 the OD, and OD, yeah, yeah. two and three and whatnot. Um, uh, yeah, I think those are asymmetrical soft clipping uh, soft pedals. Soft clipping for sure, not yeah, sure yeah. about the symmetricality of but like the difference between uh, symmetrical and asymmetrical is, is uh, I think to me more interesting than a difference in like <laughs> just enjoying it with a cup of coffee. I don't talk a lot Finally, about pedals. Finally, it's not me being the smartass. I don't talk a lot about <laughs> pedals, but when I do, <laughs> it's um, with the pinky up. <laughs> yeah, um, no, it's um, it's a very interesting difference in terms of how rich the sound's gonna be because it makes, obviously, your uh, frequency spectrum uneven. It's only gonna be clipped on one side, but kept clean and not clipped on the other. And that makes the whole thing just a lot reach, like richer because you don't hear a clean blend with a clip circuit. Like, it, that's happening mm. so fast yeah. that it's, it just feels... Like a different harmonic content and different... Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, thanks. Tea thanks, time man. and pedal talk with <laughs> KNG. Coming soon. I'm just doing the sipping. In a podca podcast place near you. <laughs> ASM, <laughs> ASMR style. All right. No, but seriously, uh, Chris is going to keep his promises that he hasn't made of playing the Godfather theme on the <laughs> Les Paul. From then on, we'll jump onto an E minor jam because that's kind of the same key if we Whoa, want it to be. Uh, is it though? Oh. Uh, Let's a, do an A minor. A minor. A, a minor. A. We'll play an A minor jam to play ourselves out of that beautiful live stream because it's already five and I kind of want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> kind of want to go home. <laughs> no, I, I, don't get me wrong. It's a lovely place to be and I love you people, but you know, I got stuff to do at home as well. Uh, you need so, to, uh, to uh, cook, I guess. Yeah, true. I have to cook. I forgot. I Sorry to remind you. Yeah. I haven't had like solid food in three <laughs> days. So like, I'm still so really adjusting. So, yeah, I forgot yeah. I need to cook as well. <laughs> Eat. All right. That was it. Eat. Uh, yeah, but you guys have a beautiful week. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and demystifying uh, really the whole pedal world. Uh, if you know any Good friends job. who's still questioning uh, the bad monkey or its purpose in life, just send, her, send them a link. Send them a link to this live stream. And uh, yeah. I hope that was interesting. At least that was funny. Uh, you guys take good care of yourselves. And, uh, Indeed. Don't forget to drop a like if you want to. Maybe subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out the next live stream or the 17,000 videos we put out every week. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. And also wish me good luck. In two days, I fly over to Pennsylvania to uh, oh, a special place. Oh, jeez. Well, Which is going to be awesome and exciting. So In two days, I'm driving an Opal into Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> For certain people, if you live far enough, this is a more exotic <laughs> thing to do. 
which <laughs> please let us know in the comments underneath that video which one would you rather like to do would you rather fly to pennsylvania or would you rather drive an opal through bavaria let us know in the comments all right now godfather us all right bye bye oh wait which channel?